There are two words in business that are very, very dangerous, and they could lead to near instantaneous loss of profits and progress in your company. Those two words are new and next. Here's why. If you're a successful business owner, you likely started your company and you spent a tremendous amount of time and energy getting it to your first seven figure mark. And you were doing everything yourself. And in many ways, it was very fun. In many ways, it was exciting. And in many ways, it was very stressful. And now you've made it, right? And when you make it, you know what happens? Our brains will be like, you're the smartest person in the world. You actually did it, right? You can do anything. And in many ways, our brains are right. You can't accomplish a lot of things. After all, we started a business from scratch and it was successful. But as entrepreneurs, we're hardwired to be creative. And that characteristic comes factory installed in our brains. And here's the problem with it. When we have this incredible confidence that says you can do anything, and we couple it with a natural drive to create things that are new, the byproduct of this is that we start a lot of little side projects. And each of these little side projects is like a plate that's spinning in the air. And we find ourselves going from having a successful business that finally made it to potentially maybe even growing the business. But now as a result of constantly trying all these new things, we have 9,000 plates in the air and we become stressed out. So here's what to do when that might happen to you. Instead of focusing on new or next, the thing you want to focus on is best. And if a successful business was held up by pillars, these would be the pillars. Pillar number one is something called your best payday. Pillar number two is something called your best buyer. Pillar number three is called your best bait, which is a slightly a strange way of saying marketing that's designed to attract your best buyer. And pillar number four is your best sales process. That's your best sales process for attracting these buyers. Now, I'll give you a little insight on the first pillar, which is called your best payday. So if you're a successful entrepreneur, you've probably done a lot of things in your business. You've probably had a lot of promotions. You've probably rolled out different products and different services over the course of your career. So here's what I'd like you to do. Let's get a piece of paper. And if you want to make several columns on that piece of paper, I'll walk you through them. Your first column is going to be labeled deliverable. Okay. And in this column, I want you to take a minute and write down all of the things that you've sold or delivered in your business in return for money. So every offer that you've made, every promotion you've run and so forth, you just want to list everything that comes to mind over the past couple of years. It's everything you can remember. Just put it down on that first column called deliverable. Now you're going to have another column and that column right next to it is going to be called energy. And in the energy column, we're going to give the deliverable a score. Here's how it works. A score of one means that doing that deliverable and actually fulfilling the promises and delivering the thing that you sold was not very energizing at all. It was very draining. A score of five means it was very, very energizing. You loved it. You could do it in your sleep. You could do it every day of your life if you like. So our next mission is to take everything that's in the first column and in the second column and to score it between one and five on how much energy it can give you to do it. So the next column we're going to put down is something called sustainability. And that means could you continuously do this activity over and over again? And again, we're going to use the same scoring system. So if score of one means you can't really do it that much, it's very hard to do. And a score of five means, yep, it's something that you could do over and over again and you love doing it, right? So that's your third column. Our fourth column is ease of sale. And again, we're going to score it on a score of one to five. So a score of one would mean that getting the sale of that thing was really, really hard. It was very complicated sales process. It was very difficult. It was very draining for you. The score of five means it practically sold itself. It was really, really easy. The sales process was fun. Everybody enjoyed it and everything worked. Now here's your mission. Your mission now is to add up the scores for every deliverable. And guess what? The deliverable with the highest score may very well be the single most profitable, sustainable, and energizing thing that you can sell in your business. And if you find that, I'd like to ask you this question. What would your business be like if all you did was focus on that one activity for sales? Chances are it can completely revolutionize not only your business, but also your quality of life and overall fulfillment that you get from the business. That's my hope for you anyway. Hey. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video and I really hope that some of these strategies I share with you are impacting your business in a positive way. And remember, if you'd like to download the workbook and worksheet I just went through with you, you can visit www.yourbestpayday.com. Thanks again. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
And if your business does $250,000 or more in gross revenue, and you'd like to grow your revenues while getting rid of complexity and stress, my company might be able to help you. We have a consulting program that's unique in these ways. Number one, I literally guarantee that you'll make at least twice our fee within the first 90 days of working together. And there's absolutely no catch to that or any fine print. We do this by eliminating the clutter and distractions that are bothering you and keeping you from getting what you want. And then finding simple ways to increase revenue immediately. Then we take that and systemize what's working so that you can have sustained growth as well. Our long-term goal with clients is a minimum of 20% revenue growth in the next 12 months. Look, I'm happy to give you a free initial consulting session. It's a way of using what I like to call the oldest trick in the book, which is to simply demonstrate that I can help you by actually helping you. And from there, we can discuss whether or not we might be a good match in terms of working together. Regardless, I'm happy to help you find some low-hanging fruit opportunities to grow revenue in your business, and I'll do that for free. You can schedule a call with me by going to stephenjohnmoran.com forward slash call. On that website, you'll see a couple of multiple choice questions, and then you'll be taken to a calendar where you can schedule a time that works for you. Regardless, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I look forward to working together soon.